Hello everybody, welcome back to Blockbuster Billy. I'm here at Give Me Five where I recently found this puzzle that is just maths and I can't do it and that's fine. We solved the plus, now let's go over to the two, see what we're working with here. How the sausage gets made too. Is this just more maths? There's less numbers here. So by the looks of it, this just needs to be an equation that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine long, and three down, which would be uh, nine, ten, eleven pieces. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces. Okay, am I putting the three down instead? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're doing a vertical sum. But I have to get the one out first because the one is stuck in here. So how do I get the one out? One plus one. equals two. And I can use nine equals nine to get that. Uh, excuse me. How do I break this sum now? Because I only have equals and plus. I can't invalidate this equation to get my other pieces back I think is there some other way to get this out um, 11 plus 2 is not 9 1 equals 1 is true But I can't move that downwards. One. Plus. One. This is just the same thing I just did. Well, is plus two valid? It's not then I am uncertain what I need to do here. It's never going to be three goes up and one comes over to make 31 because the math here ain't math in with 31. 21 plus nine is 30. Nine plus nine is 18 plus two is 20 plus one is 21. So I don't think that would be it. But how else do I get the one out of here? Like for a start, I can do this and break this up so I have more to work with. Just in individual components. One plus nine equals ten. Can't do it. I can do nineteen equals nineteen. I don't think this is going to help me, but I'm going to do it until I eliminate any other possibility. Interesting that that would break that. Hold on then. Can I do one plus one and then plus on the end to break it? Does that work? One plus one. 
equals two. Plus. Ah, okay, well. I can now get all of that out, which is good, because I can get up behind this bush. And I can make 19 equals 9, which is incorrect, obviously. So now I have to do maths again. Which is not the part of the puzzle that I'm here for. I'm here for the block sliding. But it's just two addition modifiers here, so how hard can it be? We have one, two, nine, nine equals. We know that at the bottom here, it's going to have to be equals here, something equals something, and whatever that digit is, it's going to be th so 39 I'm going to have to get something to write down with, aren't I? 39 plus 9 is 48. That's never going to work. Because it's addition. And so if I'm if I'm adding from 30 or it could be 3 plus because if it's, if it's adding from 30, my tens digit is either going to be 30 or 40 or 50, which I can't do any of those things. So let's start with the notion that this is going to be 3 plus something. 3 plus 9 equals 12. 3 plus 9 equals 12 doesn't fit. Let me just experiment here for a second because otherwise I might not visualize something else that I need. So that's right. 3 plus 9 equals 12. Then I need the last two digits to be the same so I can do x equals x and pull the whole thing down. So what else can we work with? Assuming I need a 9 or a 1 on the end, Right, I'm going to get a, a pen and paper here and just kind of talk it out with you guys. All right, pen and paper isn't interesting. Here's a tiny version of the level in Excel or Google Sheets, if you prefer. So these are the things that I have. One, one, two, nine, nine, plus, plus, equals, equals. Uh, tell you what we should do. We should count. This is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down and two across to finish. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down. Give me a border. Eight down and three across. And this and this have to be the same unit. This is going to be one of our equals. And then I have this to work with. Now this equals is going to be one of these two lower pieces. What can we make with this? I think it has to be 3+. plus, Because otherwise my... I'm never going to get to 90... Like 39 plus... 92 is not going to be something that works out for us, I think. 
So we have a choice of this being the 9-9 pair or the 1-1 one, one pair to finish. I think it's going to be the the 1-1 one, one pair. And I say that because I think if we add 2 to something we end up if we add 2 to 9 we end up with 11. So we could end up with a 1 on the end. So if these were 1s, what can I do with the rest of what I have here? 3 plus 9 plus... So I can do it here. So 3 plus 9 plus... 29 is 41. Oh my god. So 3 plus 9 plus... No. Oh god. Plus... I can't see the preview. 3 plus 9 plus 29. 3 plus 9 plus 29 equals 1. So there's your answer. Stop it. I don't want mathematical functions, I just want to look at equals. 3 plus 9 plus 29, 1 equals 1. Three plus nine plus twenty nine equals one. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I don't have a four. Why did I think I had a four? Why did I ever think I had a four? Oh God. I'm, I'm not good at things. I don't know where my spreadsheet went. All right, I do not have a magic four. So, 39 plus 29 is 68. That's never going to work. I also need the other plus symbol in here. It might end up ending up in the 9 then. 3 plus 9 plus 29 is 41. We've tried that. 3 plus 2 plus 99 104, I don't have a 4 3 plus 2 plus 91 is 96, I don't have a 6 I've lost all sense of what meaning is You need to start with three. And then I have one, one, two, two, nine, nine. And that's what I have. And it won't let me see that because it won't overflow the tile. Has to start with the three. Won't bold my three for me, and I'm mad about it. Why can't I do basic arithmetic? So if this doesn't end in one, it ends in nine. Three plus twenty-nine plus nine is still forty-one. I've done that three times now. Three plus twenty-one. is 24. Don't have a 4. Honestly, this is a nightmare. This is 3. 
this is an equal sign. One of these is going to be an equal sign, but it could end up, it could end in 91. If this was one, and this was one, and this was nine, and this was equals, and then I have nine, two, plus, stop, and plus. Am I missing something? One, one, nine, nine. Yeah, this is correct because I have four gaps here for four items here. How on earth do I get that to go? I'm just staring at maths now. This cannot be interesting at all. And if you know the answer, you've stared it, shouted it at the screen for a bunch. So I'm going to investigate this, see what I can come up with, rather than making you stare at it any longer. Hopefully I'll be back with something productive. I think I got it, finally, because I was... I started going by, could it be a two-digit number plus a two-digit number equals a two-digit number? Ruled that out, so went back to, is it just three plus something? And eventually, my caveman brain realized that three plus nine is 12, plus nine again is 21, we have two ones. So three plus nine plus nine equals 21. Let's get to the game. Three. I, I'm so mad. It took me so long to figure out this basic arithmetic. That's what really grates at me. But we can't all be great at all things. 3 plus 9 plus 9 equals 21. At least I was smart enough to realize I was making a vertical sum early and not try and fit something into that left-hand side. That would have been foolish. I did a puzzle. Took me 17 minutes to do basic math, but I did it. That seems so much easier than this. This seems like a nightmare comparatively, but I'm not even going to go there right now. Let's try this one. Prefix 2. This seems very familiar, probably because we've solved prefix previously. But one goes over. When is it going to catch me out, is the question. Two goes over. That breaks this, which... Ah, I can't move the three now. So I just have 31 sitting here. Minus 3 equals 0 minus 3. So I need to get the 3 down here. How am I going to do that? Great question. Well, here's the thing I can do. I can move this over first. which lets me manipulate this a bit. But that doesn't help me. I can't move these over. I can move that out of there. What I imagine I want to do, perhaps, is make 1 equals 01 and approach it from the left. Now, if I could make 1 equals 013, I wouldn't have any problems.
but also I can't be on the other side of this sum anyway. And I can't make this 31 because now I have lost all access to that three forever. So what else can I do with what I have? I'm not sure. I can't push anything in from these ends because there isn't the space to do so. I can do one equals one, I can do two equals two. I could do two plus one uh, equals three if I could get all of that stuff. I'm not sure how that would help me so specifically, but I could. there's some way okay what if I do this if I push this over is there ever a point where I can then functionally make 32 and make this sum wrong and then use that to my advantage Or something vertical in between the two rows, perhaps. So I can put the one there first. I can't push the one past here, because it would make a sum and get stuck. Minus three equals zero, minus one, minus two. Or, is there something else I can do on the bottom? Three minus three equals zero. Would be correct. I can't get past any of that though. That doesn't let me move anything else around. What if I don't push that all the way over? That might give me more flexibility. So now I can make 31 and break this. But to what end, I'm not sure. I have to take some part of it out. Well, I can do that and one equals one. Then I can do that. I think I've cracked it. I just need to make sure I have room. Go the long way around. Fine with that. Does that fit? It better. It does. Cool. I solved two puzzles today. How the sausage gets made three. Well, the maths doesn't look like it's going to be too complicated, but we've seen how quickly I can struggle with that. I am guessing, let's do a count here, we've got a three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten other pieces. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven won't go. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it could be a longer stretch here at the bottom. Let's just triple check that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces. And this needs to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight long, nine, ten, eleven. So this could be eight and four. But that is all predicated on getting the nine out first. To get the nine out, we probably need to break two plus nine equals eleven. So, what are we doing with this? Well, it's going to have to be really weird. I'm just going to hydrate. But we need to think about a hook. Because if I put a load of stuff in this top line, I have to get it out of that top line. And once it's against here, I can't push it from behind on the water's edge. So it's going to have to be some kind of hook to pull stuff downwards, which seems very complicated. So, we can do, we have two pluses, two equals, one, one, two, five, nine. So, well, here's the thing. Here's a very interesting thing. We figured out earlier that I can afford this extra piece. Because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pieces. If this 3 is here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So assuming the math works out, I can push the 3 up 1 to relieve this 9 from this location more easily, I hope. So what would it be? Um, if I did, I take the ones over first. Put that there. Then an equal sign. Then the other one and the other nine. Well, it's going to need to be the one first. And in fact, I need to be really careful about where I put everything that's going to make up this answer in a second. Because how am I getting the other one in? I need to do the other one first. It's a multi-layered problem here. And that goes there, that goes there. Then we can push in the equal sign. Then we can push in the other nine. Then I can pull that down. Am I going to need a different number up there earlier? Because now I can break this, but I can't get behind there. So, do I actually need... Perhaps a two. Oh, God. Well, we could try it there, but it might need to be on the right hand side. To get this out after it's all been moved once. Well, now I can't move it out. So I think this needs to be the two. So we have to think many, many extra steps ahead here. Well, I need the five to break this equation first. I can go into this space from the top right corner. That's fine.
And in fact, I might have to. How am I getting the one where it needs to be? Well, that can go there or it can go here. And then that can go there. Then the nine goes on the underside. Okay. Oh god, the 15. How... How do I get this one and five out? Well, if I do one equals one... Let me break this up first. So now, I do one, I can't do one equals one, because one doesn't equal one, it's one fifteen. And if this was a two, it would be the same problem. And get this one out, that's fine, but how do I get fifteen out of here? I surely can't. I don't know. That is going to stump me. It was 9 equals 9, 1 equals 1. The 5 breaks it, we bring this down. But then the 15 is stuck here. If the number was on this... If the number was on this side, that's where the first one was. We can't work into the corner. We'll never get anything back out again. If it was a, t if this was equals two, we could have one plus one equals two. Oh god! But that would be correct. So I don't think that helps me. Because I can get the 9 equals 9 out. Alright, that is going to be a story for another day. We made a tickle of progress. Let's go just look at what this is. How difficult is this looking? The fifth element. This doesn't look like it should be too hard. Which is like famous last words in this game. But I can get all the elements out away from one another. Which is fine. There's no, like, initial puzzle piece to have to be solved for that. It's just equals something that ends in O with pluses. Um, 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 10. How do you make a number that ends in zero out of this? Uh, five? Well, the other thing is, I don't have two of the same number here. But five plus four plus one. Five plus four plus one equals zero. 5 plus wait 5 plus 4 plus 1 equals 10 I can't use the 1 twice 5 plus 3 plus 2 uh, I regret that hold on so I get to that and then I have plus 4 and equals left which does not help me at all With one equal sign, and oh no, I have two equal signs, so 
It would have to be like 4 plus 1 equals 5. But I'd need to make 10 really efficiently. So... Do I need a really big number instead? Like... 54... Plus... Sorry, something dropped on my head. I thought it was a spider or something, but... I seem to be okay. Um... Am I trying to make a hundred? I can't make a hundred. Because I don't have two zeros. I was going to put the game down and then it just pulled me right back on in, didn't it? So... 20? Um... I need... One number spare out of all this lot. Don't I? To be my vertical sum. Well, I need two numbers because I need x plus y equals something and something plus z equals zero. Unless I could do something really funky with just the symbols, but I don't think that's going to work. So what remains? If it was 20, or 50, 35 plus 4 plus 1 would be 40, but I've used the 4. Is there a trick here, or is it just maths? I need, like, a, an indicator. This level is four puzzle, six maths. Because I want the puzzle ones more. What can I do with this? Ten. Five plus three plus two equals ten. But then I just have a four. can't do like 102 because I can't get anything to the right of this zero. 20 30 because I can't do plus plus equals as just like strings of operators to make a hook. I don't think. 4 plus 1 equals 5. Like, what, what are my vertical options? 2 and 1 makes 3. And 45. 3 and 4 and 5 don't make 0. 3 and 1 make 4. One plus three equals four. Four plus twenty-four plus five doesn't work. I need anything that can end in ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, but keeping it small, like keeping my stuff small. I can't like double add something by putting plus plus, could I? That would be really dumb. Like 5 plus plus or 1 plus plus 2 isn't 5, is it? That should never work like that, and I'm assuming it doesn't. No. Alright, I'm stumped again. So I'm just going to quit while I'm... I should have quit while I was ahead, but... Join me next time. There'll be more puzzles, more maths. We might go check out another zone at this point. For now, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.